Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Team of the Season Buendia card to review today. So, we are taking a look at a card that is 5 foot 8, high high work rates, right footed, 4 star skills with a 4 star weak foot. So right off the bat, he's actually giving me a very solid left mid, right mid vibe like his original position. But I do want to try him out on the attacking positions to obviously see what his attacking AI is like and dribbling under pressure as well. The funny thing about this card, right, is I was reviewing the other cards and I was selling some dudes to review some other cards to do, like Mukiele and all those guys, right? But obviously, with Buendia being the most sought after card right now because of the fact that he's extinct, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to snipe this card on the market. I swear, the first search, I actually sniped the card for 400k. I was like, let's go. Uh, In-game player traits, he has the flare trait, no finesse shot trait, and no outside foot shot trait. In-games, he's got 97 acceleration with 95 sprint speed, which is good for base card stats on pace. Shooting, he is set up really nicely for two different chemistry styles, in my opinion. I want to personally give him the marksman chemistry style because of the extra finishing boost, as well as the dribbling, dribbling boost, too. Because you could see that we're going to be working with 93 agility, 99 balance, with 89 reactions, 99 ball control, and 99 dribbling while giving him long shot boost as well as finishing while working with 99 shot power, right? So this card looks like an absolutely cracked monster. Base card stats for passing on the card, obviously very good for base card stats. You don't have to improve that at all. Base card stats for dribbling set up really nicely, but the 84 reactions for base card stats, I do want to see how that works with his stocky body type, I believe, right? Yeah, so he has a stocky body type. And to be honest with you guys, I don't mind that body type as long as I'm using him on the sides. But I want to see if his high dribbling stats compensate enough for it where he can be used in the middle positions and still be an attacking monster. Uh, base card stats for physical, he's at an 82 for stamina, which is what strays away from that right mid position a little bit on the comeback of the fence instruction. So it could potentially be a good player to use through the middle because of that 82 stamina. Really hate that you guys did that, EA. You should have given him like an 87-88. It would have been a good cutoff for a card like this, but then it would have been too overpowered for you guys. But, oh, here's another really cool thing. I just noticed this with this card. He has defensive stats. That's why you didn't give him uh, stamina. What's his base card stats for stamina? 62? Okay, it makes a little bit more sense then. That's why. Because cards, guys, in this game that have defensive stats for base card stats... Super nice to work with because it changes this card, right? If you give him an anchor, you can use him as a fullback if you really want to, right? I wouldn't recommend that. I still think a marksman definitely makes the most sense. But guys, a card like this at right mid on comeback defense instruction, yes, his stamina will deplete, especially since he has the high, high work rates, and he'll definitely follow that instruction well, but it's still worth doing, you know? It's still worth doing. But we are going to be trying this card out in this team. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to line up. So we're going to use them in the 4, 1, 2, and 2. It's a formation I usually try out for these types of cards. Uh, Neymar over here. Ronaldo Sanchez switched off to that left side. And then Buendia will be up top in the striker position, playing next to Buchaguenio. Cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. These guys are on balance as well. Oh, Kimmich is in the team. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I could use him as a, as a right back. Because I was thinking, like, hey, man, you know, use overlap for these bad boys. Uh, overlap, and then the tactic will be press after possession loss. E yeah, let's play it like that. Ultra attacking. Cool. Okay, so we are going to be facing... I like this team a lot, actually. Meta, but like he still has some pretty cool players here and there, you know? He's using Fabio Cannavaro, Luis Figo. I'm not crazy about Palacio, but it's a good card, but he should have definitely been better than what his stats suggested for sure. I wanted to try the finesse shot. He doesn't have the trait, but he has a shot power, so that's why I wanted to try that out. Oh, man, that was actually a really good play with him, too. The defender came from behind to get that tackle, too. Ooh, quick transition there. I like that. He's giving me really good, like, right mid vibes, for sure. Right mid, left mid vibes. Really, really good ones. Nice. That was a really nice goal, actually. He hits that with precision as well, eh? Oh, skip the replay. 
His his stocky body type, it doesn't really annoy me that much. Like, I notice it for sure, but, like, I could compensate for it. Yeah, you see? You see what I'm saying about the defensive stats, guys? It makes a huge difference for attackers when they have it, man. Because that means you can defend in most of the uh, positions. Yeah, I just want to see how responsive he'd be in that situation. To be honest, really good. I, I expected him to be a little bit more sluggish with the stocky body type, but... I mean, his dribbling stats for base card stats is definitely compensating well for it. Like, look, it's pretty good. Ball roll strike. Oh, Pope with the glove save there. That's pretty cool. He actually runs upwards there because Butcher Guenga was making that run downwards. Like, I like that he makes that, that inwards run. That's good because if I use him in that left mid or right mid position and I need that inwards run, I can expect it from him at the very least. Okay, so this next game, I want to force the get in behind instruction on both of the attackers. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Just starting off the play in that right mid position is nice. He doesn't he's not playing there obviously, but like I said, he definitely feels like he belongs there for sure. So you can see that he has that base characteristic of making those explosive runs after those passes, which I'm a huge fan of. Good, okay, so you adjust your run from the get him behind instruction. That's actually awesome. Good. Sees that space over there, makes that run. Good stuff, good stuff. Cool, so it's one of those cards that, like, you know, left mid, right mid position will definitely be nice, but on or in the uh, striker position, you have to use the get him behind to kind of force those good attacking AI runs out of him. Let's go, Neymar. What's cool about that situation right there is when I made that initial touch with Neymar, you can see that Buendia actually makes that run into that empty space immediately, which is dope. I didn't need it, but... It was definitely a welcome thing to have. So like I said, guys, you do notice the stocky body type, but it's just not as bad as I thought it would be dribbling-wise. Like, you could definitely compensate well enough for it. Oh, that was actually not a bad finesse shot if it didn't hit Neymar. Good. Makes that run there. Adjusts upwards. Make the run again. Comes closer. That's the high, high work rate right there. In those situations. Very responsive on the shot cancels. His shot cancels are actually awesome. Not bad. That's a really bad angle to, uh, to shoot from. And he still de does decently well. Nice pass by Bandia. So yeah, guys, like I said, this isn't the type of card that I would use through the middle. Um, striker position, cam position because of the high, high work rates. Even if I tell him to get in behind, it's decent. But this card 100% feels like someone that you use mostly in the center mid position, right mid position. Like those types of areas, in my opinion, right? So um, the way that I want to try out Buendia now is I actually want to use him in a 4-1-2-1-2. And I want to use him as my right center mid. Kakab, Tab, Buchigueno. And I want to line up the team like this. Yeah. And then Buendia will actually be on the instruction of just cover wing. Uh, the reason why I want to do this is because he has base card stats for defending, right? So right mid, center mid positions definitely seem like the most ideal areas for him because of the high, high work rates that he actually has uh, as well. Very helpful stuff. Nice, good build-up play. Good stuff. Kaká gets into the right position at the right time. Good goal. We'll take that. You see that run that Buendia actually made right there in that center mid area? It's nice, man. Nice to have players like this. That disguised run could actually be really good in a 4-3-1-2 because of the over-committing fullback you would have in that area. 
Okay, even in the defensive positions there as well. Nice, good job, Neymar. Good goal right there, we'll take that. All right, guys. So, yeah, attacking AI, pretty obvious to use him in the uh, center mid, right mid positions. Right mid mostly, I would say. Uh, we're going to try him up top in the striker position again. We're just going to go ahead and switch some players here and there. Instructions will just be on stay central for both. Stay forward for Neymar. And then we'll actually just do long ball for this. Perfect. I want to try out more of his uh, shots, you know? Ooh, give me that finesse shot, but you I was about to say, but you're going When the uh, good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, left mid, right mid. Usually with left mids and right mids, it's like you can pretty much use uh, any of them as long as they have the bare minimum of the four star, four star, right? Nice, Wendy. Uh, good job. Let's go, BB. He has, like, like I said, his finesse shots actually come off nicely with his weak foot. I don't really see uh, a big issue with that at all. With his left stick dribbling, you kind of have to, like, adjust to his uh, body type a little bit, but it's nice. Again, I I'm using him a lot of times in the middle for the sake of the review, but I know that he's not a player that I would use as a striker or as a cam for sure. Ah. Oh. So that's the response of dribbling that you want to see the most, right? It's just the left stick dribbling with the contextual agile dribbling on. Do you see why having defensive players in the attack is so nice to have? That in the right mid position, like I said, is super good. He's still at it there. <laughs> I tried it. I tried it. Yeah, explosive runs. You see? That's a base characteristic of his. When you make the pass and you don't do the 1 2 with the L1 or the LB, and he just goes in himself. All right, guys, so final verdict on the Buendia card. So I forcefully used the Marksman Chemistry Style on him, right? So with the Marksman Chemistry Style, we boost his reactions, ball control, and dribbling as much as possible. Now, in regards to how he performs in-game, I actually think that the Maestro makes the most sense so that you increase his reactions as much as possible, right? Reactions to a 94 with 99 dribbling while already having 93 finishing with 99 shot power, 97 long shots is definitely a very nice thing to have, especially since you're also going to be boosting his passing as much as possible. So I do think that the Maestro makes the most sense to make him as responsive as possible in regards to dribbling because he was nice with the Marksman chemistry style, but I just feel like with the Maestro, that reactions would definitely be a very helpful thing because of the stocky body type that he has. Now, because of the stocky body type, I wouldn't necessarily use him as a striker or a cam uh, because it just makes more sense to use a card like this in that right mid position uh, so he can attack and defend really nicely because of the defensive stats that he has as well. If you want to use a card like this in the center mid position, you don't even necessarily need to improve his defensive stats because... He actually defends really nicely with his high, high work rates. The only real downfall of this card is the 82 stamina, I would say. The stamina is definitely really annoying uh, because if his stamina was higher, it would just be really nice to have in that right mid, center mid position uh, for the most part. But yes, you can use him as a striker. You can use him as a cam. His attacking AI is a little bit different in those positions. Like You, you can tell he belongs in certain positions on the pitch, but you could definitely make it work with how he... Uh, moves around those areas, but he doesn't really feel like a pure striker uh, in regards to certain runs that he makes, right? So uh, yeah, left mid, right mid, center mid position definitely seems like the best bet. 
Honestly, you can even use this guy as a fullback as you if you really want to because stocky body type with a high, high work rate, defensive stats, physical stats, 82 stamina. Again, a little bit of a downfall, but he can definitely play that role really nicely as well because of the defensive stats they've actually given him. So it's a good rotational card. I think most people that if they get this card, they're going to use him in the attack. So just letting you guys know how he will perform in game. So um, I do think he's super overhyped. The fact that he's extinct, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think he's like on that level, but... Because uh, it's a 400k card too. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.